lost. So, well, arguably uh, they can have as platform or buffets, exhibition and occidentation can be considered as a privileged observator on facial aesthetics. Uh, just functions as uh, archive of thousands and thousands of digital faces, online dating service appear to be as an actual Facebook, whereby inside on the transformation uh, of the minimum face in contemporary visual society can be grasped. So, um, in the first place, platform of face falsification and camouflage whereby testing the effectiveness of visual filter of any kind, dating apps are, at the same time, space where uh, defending face authenticity is shown by the ban of filter in one of the most popular uh, dating apps, such as uh, Plenty of Fish. Uh, moreover, uh, online dating service uh, seems to be marketplace of new face friction modes, uh, where faces are continually scrolling down, flip through by user. So the uh, profile picture on dating hub face represents the only visible gate through which inferring allegedly personality feature and even identity. For this purpose, in the, in the internet is plenty of buzz on whether uh, it's better uh, to smile or not in our profile picture, or even how this guy is suggesting uh, to uh, rep reproduce this squint. This is a kind of 80% deer in the eye like 20% squint. So anyway, remarkably, uh, dating half have already uh, picked scholars enter from different disciplinary perspectives such as media study, gender study, psychology, marketing and so on. And recently uh, also uh, a semiotics interest towards uh, sex and intimacy in digital aid pop up as shown by a recent congress and the, re and the recent um, special issue on, uh, devoted to the topic. Uh, in this publication also Professor Leone with the, with the with an article titled The Semiotic of Face in Digital Dating, uh, drew some guidelines to examine the face as a communicative uh, and seductive project. So this in some way authorized me to keep on <laughs> researching on this. So in, pre in previous words, myself, in fact, I've been researching uh, self-representation in, in digital uh, uh, dating platform by focusing mostly on the setting and the, uh, on the scenography and the extent to which the seductive function has been displayed and performed by the background of the profile picture. But the great opportunity to, ve to develop my uh, research within the facets uh, project leads me a uh, literature to present it to face uh, digital intimacy under a new perspective and, and look um, and look at it within the new uh, framework of bi uh, biometric technology and facial recognition, for sure. So during my presentation today, I'll discuss some, um, prim some preliminary insight in this new exploration. Uh, so surprisingly, uh, or not surprisingly, uh, dating services can be absolutely receptive to the novelty of biometric technology. And they are so for different uh, purposes and reasons. They are number for uh, cheaters looking to hook, hook up online. So thanks to the facial recognition, it is possible to catch if the significant, if the significant other supposedly uh, in an exclusive relationship still has a dating profile in some other dating app. <coughs> Uh, so by identifying to a one-to-one one one facial uh, image comparison in a digital crowd of dating app users, the ones that are not supposed to be there anymore, um, so catching the ones that are not supposed to be there anymore, the use of facial recognition work as a legit surveillance system. But the enthusiasm for biometric also serve other purposes. Uh, in fact, as we, you, can, uh, you can see here, 
uh, recently um, data in survey has been using biometric uh, biometrics and facial recognition not only to stop uh, online data scammers but also to more effectively uh, find matches for members based on physical and particular facial uh, characteristics. In particular, facial recognition is not just used for catching a supposed unfaked current partner, but it also aims for searching someone that, who looks like the previous partner, the one who got away, as this uh, uh, blog article uh, called it. So the shift from one-to-one -one recognition to one-to-other recognition is undoubtedly worth noticing. Well, there is also the, a kind of assumption behind this that people want to repeat the same mistake. <laughs> Always looking for the one that's got away. But anyway, maybe we'll talk about that uh, over the lunch or the dinner. Anyway, how do work, how this service uh, work? If you look at the survey called um, Lookalike, implemented by the online community Badu, uh, Lookalike survey is designed to allow users to find people who look similar to celebrities, friends, or uh, user that one uh, supposed to like. So, for example, uh, so the user provides the photo of the celebrity a crush or an ex, whoever, want the party to look like, and the system looks for the person who resent the one. So apparently the operation is pretty simple, a software generated the face print based on the photograph provided. There are also a kind of large database of celebrity already uh, stored, so we don't have, of course, to provide the photo of George Clooney, the George, George Clooney is already there, so it goes without saying that this function aims at detecting the resemblance between different people complexifying the facial recognition system. And of course, the visual problem behind that. Now, let's assume we are looking for someone similar to George Clooney or Emma Stone or whoever. Uh, by looking at the series of uh, uh, lookalikes, the first question that crops up is, which property of George Clooney are assembled by the, yeah. the software <coughs> face print? So which landmark of face are defined as nodal points? Sometimes it's just the color of the hair, or maybe the distance between, between the eyes, we really don't know. We are mindful that it's hardly worth to bring all the semiotics the day or assemblance starts on the first semiotic day when first, that has been already mentioned today, define the icon as a likeness, a sign which stands for something merely because it resembles it. Well, it's hardly uh, worthy just to understand Badoo. But anyway, in turn, feature extraction in biometric has already been at the center of intense debate and controversies from disciplinary perspective, of course. Not to mention all the legal and security issues that are arisen by that. But still, this lookalike thing unlashes further a day. Because it's not just about verifying that someone is who is supposed to be, but also the degree to which someone can be recognized ultimately and, co and ultimately confused with someone else. So looking at these images uh, as, uh, as, they, as they were a unique uh, series, one can easily ask, to which degree the clone or the copy resemble to the, to the celebrity, to the star? Or conversely, at which point of, the, of their series the resemblance gets totally lost, we could say, at the very beginning. So, uh, a blogger uh, who carefully reviewed the app uh, was pretty clear about the answer. Uh, the answer is just the uh, this lookalike feature is creepy. So what I learned from this page is that either body facial recognition is either not at all accurate or I am a very standard white woman, the blogger says, uh, there were certainly no striking resemblances to be found. In fact, and I have omitted this so far. That's also what to show you uh, and your uh, look light. Maybe inferring you're a very narcissistic person and you want to kind of fall in love with, with yourself too. So, of course, I couldn't resist the temptation and I tested it with myself 
So uh, here they are, they are my look like, both men <laughs> and women, are all very young and very pleased. Uh, but again, the question is twofold. On one side, which are the, pop the property uh, the software extracted from my picture and search in others? And on the other side, at which point I'm not recognizable anymore in my lookalikes? And I will say, again, from the very beginning. Well, all in all, if we consider the series of lookalikes generated by a non-human agency, the effect of meaning is definitely paradistic. Uh, as is further recalled in this montage that is also made by the blogger um, before. But beyond the mere creepiness of the service as she defined it, this paradistic effort invites to put into question directly the computational model of fair recognition and its limits. Computer scientists have succeeded in translating a face into a facial template, which work um, with a relative small amount of data, data that presumably serve for capturing the face that, as we already you know, as we are already discussing, as we are we are here today, it's a very very difficult object to uh, stabilize. In that regard. Um, Machine readable Ito is a work by a German artist, uh, Trevor Paglen. So he took hundreds of images of an artist, this Ito, this lady, and subjected them to a, a various facial recognition algorithm. This portrait of Ito presents the images alongside uh, metadata, indicating the age, the gender, the emotional state, and other signifiers that the algorithm have interpreted from the images. In one image, the algorithm put Ito, the artist, <coughs> age at 30, and another 43. So other uh, readouts estimate the emotional composition of Ito's face, expresses in percentages of joy, fear, sadness, and so on. So the work in part highlights the shortcoming of the machine side, which can only interpret what it sees based in the data set, in the data sets, its uh, operators uh, feed it. In fact, the implicit uh, classification of identity does not happen uh, at the level of uh, does happen, sorry, at the level of data and metadata, and it's at this stage when there is room for cultural assumptions about the relationship between the face and the identity, including uh, beliefs about face revealing the uh, essential uh, quality of uh, their conveyor of the bears. So as Kelly, uh, <coughs> as Kelly Gaze puts in his uh, work uh, uh, titled Our Biometric Future, uh, facial recognition system uh, promised to facilitate the diffusion of a particular institute, institutionalized way of seeing, ones that rely on and seek to standardize essentialized identity category under the guise, the guise of what appears to be radically individualized from uh, of identification. The quote. So I am mindful uh, that it's completely silly, uh, impugning biometric technology just rely upon the play, uh, playful devices uh, deployed by dating apps. Nevertheless, I'm convinced that the fun, <laughs> those uh, uh, funny games, if you want, such as Luca <coughs> and its friends, display some limits intrinsic to the act of capturing the face and that such limits and constraints start even earlier than the data set classification. I would argue that the constraints start in the, in the uh, digitalization stage, when such a complex dispositive, multidimensional and uh, meaningful, uh, as, as is the face, is just misregarded as a uh, bidimensional uh, text. Leaving this uh, preliminary thought to further the deeper development, of course, I would like to conclude by coming back to digital application with some final thoughts. So, needed to, uh, to say that sex and intimacy um, 
that uh, sex and intimacy uh, realm have traditionally uh, been tied with the body representation and on uh, the discourses about the body. Dating apps, in turn, have been platform for body exposition uh, and performance by deploying different degree of uh, implicitness of the body, uh, which ranges from biceps to a nude. Sometimes body features are textualized as profile metadata when users uh, have to indicate their height or their weight. Some white bodies is directly displayed all this. Uh, uh, amounts of biceps and other parts of the body displays by dating app. So, uh, drawing on the uh, previous observation, uh, increasingly uh, dating service seems to tend towards a facialization of uh, digital sex and intimacy, as far as the body is cut off the frame of the profile picture. It would be very tempter to maintain that such uh, supposedly supremacy of the face and the relative occultation of the body might lead to a further conduct prescription in the realm of uh, digital intimacy. It would be also very rash, though, uh, to, defend, uh, to defend that today. So it's fair enough for today to reckon that there is a lot of room for further investigation in this regard. Thank you very much. Thanks. Well, thank you. That's another. Uh,